Welcome back to Global Kirky 2014. We are backstage at the Journal Theater, and it is a privilege to have with us here Aaron Edidich of the group Shundub. Shundurga. Shundurga. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Thank you for finding a few minutes to join us here. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, thank you very much. As you saw, New Mexico loves you. Your music was very well received here. Yeah. Yeah, we are very happy about it. You know, it's it's such amazing to play here, and and the crowd was very warm here. So, it's um, you know, it's always uh, when we are abroad and we touring, it's always a very good experience when when uh, people who never heard before this music, and the very first time when they hearing it's it's coming with us for the really first uh, tune and immediately they are coming and and here it just happened so so we are yeah very happy about to being here and play here in this festival it's a cool place <laughs> it is a cool place and uh, you know I wonder people get it they got it right from the beginning why do you think that is is this is a uh, Hungarian folk music that you've done something you've added something new to it describe that yeah, it's it's a little bit difficult because it's it's a music from Hungary, but it's not a Hungarian music really because it's a you know it's a minority music from Hungary. So the Serbian and the Croatian people who live in Hungary or lived in Hungary, so that's uh, their music what we play, and uh, uh, we call it Southern Slavic folk music. So it's not just uh, Serbian and Croatian, we also do some Macedonian music. And, um, but the music is, is uh, exactly from Hungary, because these uh, people is, uh, is in Hungary about 300 years ago. They escaped from the Turkish, um, and, and they, they found uh, a place in Hungary to, to build their cities, and, and they kept uh, their culture there so it's a very interesting thing because in Hungary they kept this uh, culture in a much more uh, traditional or ar archaic uh, uh, way so when we are going to Serbia to play this music they are also feel this what is this old music because uh, now they in Serbia they are playing this music much more modern or, or you know so they don't uh, uh, really know this type of, of old songs so when we are going to this music home or Serbia or Croatia it's it's uh, they are also feel what is this old t old stuff it's 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 amazing we don't <laughs> don't know it still exists so so uh, so that's the music what we are working on and of course we are arrange it and we are uh, learn this music like a language because as, as you know we are a family so uh, we are in a band three brothers I Benjamin and Solomon, a cousin David, and our best friends, we always say this, <laughs> the only not related guy, is, is Attila, the bass player. So, and we learn this music like a really simple way, you know, we grew up with it and, and we always heard this in our home because our father also a musician and, and they uh, still play in a band called Vujic. Uh, which uh, still exists 40 years ago, so it's a 40 year old band. And um, yeah, so we grew up always listening this music and it's very easy to catch some instrument in, in, in our place and try to play something, so. Well, that's wonderful, uh, both of that you're with your family and what a powerful irony that the music that you're playing uh, as, as a young person and doing I think innovative stuff, and, and people would receive that as, oh, that's, that's old, that's, where is this older <laughs> music coming from? Now, what you've described just makes you by definition an ambassador uh, of, 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 for a, a whole region there. How do, you, how do you, when you come out and people, you're introducing some people like, um, I'm sure many people you've met here in Albuquerque and others on the road, don't know a lot about the region of the world that you're from. You are an ambassador. How do you how do you embrace that role? Yeah, 
it's you know it's in the middle of Europe this country so Hungary and and it's um, it's something like a, a gate to between the Balkan or 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 the East uh, world and uh, and uh, and the West world so it's something very special it's it's a small country and uh, but it's it's lots of of minorities nations live together there so in this small place and and uh, as uh, how can i say because it's 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 smaller like i think smaller than new mexico so <laughs> just one state in the us so i think so and um uh, yeah so lots of people there and that's why it's uh, very interesting that these cultures mixing together and and uh, also our music is very interesting because it's not just from the balkan you know it's also there is uh, the culture from the West, which is getting touch with it, and uh, and and I think it's it's uh, Hungary and this region is is also about special because because this mixture, this this uh, lots of kind of people together, um, and and of course for for us specialty the music is also that mix, and. Um, it's also very uh, true for the Hungarian folk music because it's um, you know uh, it's very strange, but now that part where is uh, Hungarian folk music still exists and and uh, uh, it's not in Hungary, it's in Romania. But that's that's the history, you know. It's it's when World War Two there is some uh, uh, part of the country which is uh, getting off to the country and and put it to Romania and that's so and uh, and there is still exists the Hungarian music and there was where Bela Bartok recorded lots of uh, um, uh, folk music um, but it was a hundred years ago also and and that time it was Hungary so it's a very strange uh, history what we got in Hungary and uh, of course, it's it's um, uh, that's why I think the people uh, <laughs> also getting um, mixed with other countries because they are, have to live in another country, but they are Hungarians, and and of course it's the same situation with the Serbians because there is also a, a big part of <laughs> the country Serbia, which called Vojvodina, which was also one one day it, it was Hungary. And uh, lots of Hungarian peoples live there nowadays also, but now is Serbia. But you know, there is also the Hungarian culture, the Serbian culture, and getting together and make this music uh, something very special mix of it. And that's, that's what we do in, in a little bit modern way. We just continuing this, this mixing, you know, the cultural, things and the musical things. Well, it sounds wonderful and it's a wonderful energy as <coughs> well. Uh, now, where can people find you online? Um, of course, uh, on Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. I just put it this very hard pronounce <laughs> name, Schöndörge, but I'm sure everybody can find it. So we are on Facebook, Twitter, and of course we have a website too. Fantastic. Well, we will link that uh, when we do this post. Thank and, you. And uh, I want to thank you uh, for coming to New Mexico and sharing your music with us and for spending a few minutes with us here today. Thank you very much. This is Global Kirky 2014. I'm Floyd Vasquez. Our producer is Paul Evans behind the camera. Thanks for tuning in, for clicking in, and we'll see you next time.